This work was actually an extension of some work, uh, a paper we recently published in Cancer Discovery, where we asked a, a very fundamental question about three known oncogenes. Uh, MIC BCL2 and BCL6 have been well known in DLBCL to have prognostic significance, but we wanted to know if does it matter if they're present in the same cell or not. And so we use microscopic techniques to study uh, the expression of these oncogenes uh, within uh, single cells uh, by staining all of them together and quantitating that and in, in we were able to show that actually it's a, a subset of cells that express MIC and BCL2 without BCL6 that uh, define survival. Now in this poster which is an extension of that work we tried to present uh, data showing that this is probably a better way to define double expressor lymphomas because in the past double expressors have been just defined based on MIC or BCL2 overall levels alone. But now that we know that the biology is defined by these unique cells, uh, what we propose is that incorporating the BCL6 information, which allows you to calculate the percentage of cells that have this unique uh, combination of oncogenes, uh, it provides a better way of stratifying patients in terms of, of survival. Uh, and it works even in patients that are uh, called DEL by the old definition.